today I am making a video on how to repair a broken digitizer on one of the Nextbook tablets. I finally got the digitizer back in from China. I have a couple other videos of the breakdown and I finally have the replacement part so I can show you guys how to fix it. Um, again, you have to make sure that your digitizer, you get the correct one, otherwise it's not going to work right. You get inverted screens. Um, in this case, I had to search for a couple weeks and finally found one in China. Like I said, it just came in. So we'll go ahead and get started putting this thing together. Um, basically, it just came, no bezel. So we're going to use all the existing uh, plastic housing. And uh, it didn't come with any adhesive, so I just kind of had to make do with some... Uh, thick heavy duty, heavy duty uh, double sided adhesive and we'll start by peeling that off and that's going to go on top of the uh, plastic bezel that holds the digitizer in place so Okay, now that all the adhesive is removed, go ahead and remove this plastic protective layer that they put on here so it doesn't get scratched during shipping. Honestly, I've never received one with this little tab. I don't know what, what it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off. I think it's their quality control tab. And now we can go ahead and stick it, or install the digitizer onto the plastic bezel. want to make sure you get it lined up correctly that way you don't have any problems blocking the camera or the LED indicators just kind of press down to get that adhesive to stick
and now you have an assembled digitizer ready to be installed back onto the next book. So we'll just set this aside for now. Just for the record, this part was already broken when the customer brought it to me, so I'm going to have to uh, try and work with that. I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth to kind of clean the LCD up so there's no marks or dust or fingerprints. Actually, we don't need to set this aside. I actually need this, so that was a mistake. <clears throat> the LCD assembly will slide at an angle into this housing. There's some blasted black plastic tabs you can see where it slides underneath. And then it just, you can just kind of gently push it down into the plastic housing. and then make sure you put the volume and power control board in its proper place so it doesn't get broken or disconnected <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and attach the digitizer ribbon cable. There's a small black tab that you have to lift up on to be able to install it. Make sure that it is pushed all the way in and then press down on the black tab that locks it in place. And you do want to make sure it's in there evenly. So now the digitizer is in place, we can actually turn it on and test it and make sure it works. Good idea to grab a hold of the battery and not anything on the circuit board and then just press the power button. And in this case the battery is dead. Let's give it a little power.
and you can see it's turning on <clears throat> and once it boots up we'll be able to tell whether or not the touch screen works again Alright, so now we're at the lock screen. See the touch touch function is working. It's recognizing my finger. Unlock it. You can see that there's no uh, reverse uh, axis. Everything is working correctly. All the touch functions are working. Open up the camera, see if it works. camera app is working so let's go ahead and shut it down and reassemble it completely so we now know that the tablet is fixed now I have a working tablet with a working digitizer, no reverse access, or axis, I should say. If you get the wrong digitizer, basically your screen will be flipped either horizontally or vertically, um, and you won't be able to use it properly. So it's real important to get the correct digitizer. You can look at my other videos to find out how to do that. But basically this ribbon cable has a number on it, so when you search on eBay or Amazon or wherever it is you're looking when you look for the next book digitizer make sure that you get the correct part number that is printed on the ribbon cable so now we'll go ahead and uh, screw the LCD back in place and there are about seven screws It took about two weeks for this digitizer to come in from overseas, so if you uh, want to make note of where these screws go, make sure you know they are um, all you know different thread patterns. So you want to make sure you put them in the correct place. And it's been about two weeks since I looked at this one, so um, I probably should have done that myself. So now we're ready to put on the back housing that covers the motherboard. 
Unfortunately, this one was broken when I got it, so it might be a little bit difficult. Just be careful when you take these off. These plastic clips are pretty easy to break. This can be a little bit of a tedious part, trying to get this thing to align back to the way it was. If you're fortunate enough to get one that doesn't have a broken bezel on it, it'll probably be a lot easier. But looks like we got it here. Everything snapped back into place. That last screw goes under where the micro SD card gets installed. So we'll go ahead and Screw that in. And that's pretty much it. Then you can go ahead and put on the, the back plate. It's not an Apple product. Someone just put a sticker on there. And it just snaps into place. There's no screws. Just kind of slowly work around it until you hear everything lock into place. And that's it. The tablet's back assembled. We we'll go ahead and insert their micro SD card back in. And then close that little tab. And we'll give it some power and make sure it comes on. And there you have it, working next book reassembled. Uh, the digitizer costs uh, was probably about thirty dollars on eBay. Like I said, it took about two weeks for it to come in. Uh, next books they're not all the same models, so like I said, when you order the replacement glass, the digitizer, make sure you get the correct one, or else you're going to end up with all kinds of problems. It's not going to work right, so make sure you're cautious well, like I said watch my other videos kind of explain um, how to get the correct digitizer hopefully this video is helpful to some of you guys out there that have these next books um, this was actually you know brought to me I've never worked on one of these before uh, and it seems like a lot of people out there uh, are using these and there's not a lot of videos out there on how to repair them. Uh, they're a fairly inexpensive tablet, so people buy them for their kids or you know personal use, and then break the screen. And uh, there's really not anybody out there that's offering support. And the volume keys work. I don't know if you can hear that. Touchscreen is fully functional. 
and that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or email and subscribe to the channel. And again, hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys out there. I know this isn't the greatest uh, video tutorial, but I'm not really good at making videos. I'm just good at repairing stuff. So you guys have a good night. Cheers.